Hi, my name is Lavish Kumar. In this video, we will learn how the feature of wishlist works in AppCommerce. For this tutorial, we are using version 3.90. What is wishlist? A wishlist is a list of products that a customer can share with friends or save it for later to transfer the products into a shopping cart. If adding a product to wishlist feature is enabled on an AppCommerce site, the add to wishlist button usually appears on the product detail page in the public store. So let's take a look at how the customer can add a product to wishlist. So when you install an app commerce out of the box default option wishlist is always enabled. So let's pick any product for an instance let's say notebook and here let's say we select this HP Envy and since by default the wishlist option is enabled we will see a button here add to wishlist and when I click this button the product will be added to wishlist now if I go to my wishlist I can see that this product is available in my wishlist and I can actually add this product directly to the shopping cart for later this is a great way for me to save a product for now in my wishlist and come back later to and log into my account and add the, the product to the shopping cart. You do get an option to share the wishlist by, by your friend. So you can basically email your wishlist to a friend. You can simply put your friend's email address here and personal message. And if I go back, you can also share your wishlist with a friend or family member or any other person by simply sharing this unique URL. So if you click this URL, you will see wishlist of John Smith. It's right here. So this is how you share your wishlist with your friends. And now let's let's look into how you can add the product directly to the shopping cart from your wishlist. So simply I'm going to click add to cart. Or actually, you know what? Let's look into another product also. Let's add a bunch of product in the wishlist. Let's add this one too. Let's pick this product also. This is two and let's look into the wish list now. So let's say I want to save these products for later and come back and maybe add these two laptops in the shopping cart. So I'm just going to select these options and click on add to cart button. And here you can see my wish list now only shows one product that I left for later and two products are now showing up in the shopping cart option. And here I can simply just check out and buy these products on an AppCommerce site. So now since we have learned how the wishlist option works on the public store, let's look into the admin settings so that how we can manage wishlist options. So first let's see how you can actually disable the wishlist option on a, an AppCommerce site. Let's go to configuration. From here we'll look into access control list. And here we can see the access control list is for different roles. Administrator, form, moderators, guests, register and vendors. Since right now we are looking into register user and guests who will be accessing the public store. By default you can see here, here the public store enable wishlist is enabled for these two roles. So if I want to disable wishlist for these two roles, I'm simply going to uncheck these options and save it right here. So for example, this example, I'm not going to disable it. And now let's learn how wishlist setting works in AppCommerce administration section. We'll go into configuration, settings, and here we'll select shopping cart settings. So on the shopping cart setting page, if you scroll down, you will see wishlist and here you will see different options for to manage your wishlist on an AppCommerce site. So the first option is maximum wishlist items that are allowed for customer to add in the wishlist. The second option is about showing product images on wishlist. If you disable it, the images of the product won't show on the wishlist on the public store. Third option is allowing customers to email their wishlist to a friend. So if you disable it, the customer on your public store won't get option to email the wishlist to a friend, family, or anybody else. Fourth option, 
allows guests to email their wish list. In the recent example we saw, a registered customer was able to add or email the wish list to a friend. In this example, if I enable this option, a guest will be able to email his or her wish list to a friend as well. Next option is about allowing out of stock items to be added to the wish list. Next option is moving items from wish list to cart. So if I disable it, the customer won't get the option to move the products from wish list to a shopping cart. And fourth option is displaying wish list right after adding the product to wish list. So if I disable it, enable it, it depends on when you add the product to the wish list, you will be able to redirect it to the wish list or you can actually stay on the product detail page depending on this option. So this is how the feature of wish list works in AppCommerce. Now it's time for us to wrap up the tutorial video. Hope this was helpful. This video is brought to you by NopCommerce, open source shopping car. Thank you.